Capricorn and welcome to Stars with Stasi. This is your weekly reading for March 24th through March 30th or whenever you come across this message it is meant for you. I've already shuffled your cards and we're going to go ahead and get started with this week's theme. Now depending on where you live we've got the lunar eclipse in Libra happening in your 10th house. That's your house of public image, your career. And so there is this energy here. And let me see. Um, also reputation. That's the other thing. Your public image, your reputation. That's going to be really important coming up this uh, this week for you. It's actually this eclipse season. Um, I feel strong that you're going to have like something take place and then you're going to have to revisit it right around the first, the Mercury retrograde, and then heading into the energy of um, mid-month, right? So we've got the solar eclipse in Aries on the 8th. So things will be more clear there. I've got the brawler showing up, lack of empathy and confrontation. So as I was saying, during the eclipse, it'll bring you at a crossroads. You might be in a position where you have to watch what you say in a professional setting. So some of you might work where you have global clients or people coming in from out of town um, or you deal with clients like on, you know, internet, something like that. And so there could be a situation where you find yourself at an impasse, a stalemate with someone. And it could be a cultural difference. It could be, um, I have to say it, it could even be a political difference that somehow comes through this um work situation to so be mindful of what you say but um let's let's keep that here more will be revealed so the brawler lack of empathy confrontation either someone views you that way or vice versa i've got the stag trust and thrive this came up for um i can't remember which of the signs but this is not the first time this has come up so there must be this this movement of people learning to lean on their gifts lean on their strength um, and you know, stags, they, they are solid, right? And this is full move ahead. I've got number one coming through a tidy house, clarity and organization. So yes, I feel like there's going to be movement here to spring clean, so to speak, right? We are in the spring equinox that just happened depending on when you're watching this. So <clears throat> we just had the spring equinox, which is all about, planting your seeds for forward movement. What do you want your life to look like next year in the next six months? How do you want to see things unfold for you in your life? So there's a lot of getting organized. If you own a business, I'm hearing um, get your tax papers in order, depending on where you live. Uh, make sure that you have things finalized, uh, LLC, whatever the case is. Um, that's going to be very important. That's coming through like paperwork and it, um, paperwork and putting your ducks in a row. Like I'm, they're showing me ducks in a row. All right, I'm going to pull nine cards, then we'll clarify them. I've got the world card to start off a reading like that. Doesn't surprise me in eclipse season. I do want to say if I get the high priestess, the seven of cups, or the moon card as a clarifier, that's where the crossroad is being concealed from us. So, because remember, eclipses are faded events. You can't do anything about it, but you can learn to ride the wave of transformation. So, the world card signifies a completion for sure, right? Something happening. We've got the Hierophant. This is something traditional. This could be a marriage. You could be ending a cycle within your marriage or ending the cycle of being single, right? You could be getting married. Um, if it's not marriage, a lot of times the Hierophant can show up as a religious person, a religious figure, um, someone who you seek guidance from. Or this could be you, right? If you are a religious person or someone who's questioning your um, your beliefs, that's the other thing. That might be the catalyst for the disruption in the workplace that I feel. Maybe you are examining your beliefs because of something that you hear or see. Very possible we are in a political season. Page of Wands comes up, taking action, going on an adventure, right? I feel like you're <clears throat> you're, you're making plans for something. Okay, well, you're making plans to move away and get... Okay, hold on. I've got the Eight of Cups coming through with the King of Cups. You could be moving towards or away from relationship. I'll get the clarifiers, but we've got, again, this is coming up as a relationship of some sort or commitment, right? This is going on an adventure. You're either closing out a cycle or beginning a new one. Eight of Cups, you're moving towards something that is more beneficial, 
something that is your nine and ten of cups potentially and i've got the king of cups in your central position so if this isn't a water sign and they're masculine in your life if this isn't someone slightly older mature emotionally um, available if that's not a person then this is saying that the reason you're leaving what seems to be perfectly fine right like you know you make enough money at your job and things are okay you're okay in your relationship but you want more you're walking away from what's stable wow capricorn this is good you're walking away from what's stable to go get something else eight of pentacles comes up when you're when you're crafting on it and you're trying to figure out how to get your eight and nine or nine and ten of cups right and this is like you really putting your your intentions and your mind into something nine of pentacles that's financial freedom and then the star card came out which is so good so like I said, you might really start seeing the fruits of your labor and everything pan out. Things become way more clear after the 8th of April. The sun card, brightest star that we have, guiding you to your financial freedom. That is amazing. So if you, like I'm telling you, get your, get your items in order, right? Just get yourself organized. Don't let any of these haters or people with different opinions or viewpoints get you down. And by the way, their beliefs limit them, not you. So what do you care? People people blow up my comment section all the time, calling me, oh, listen, people say all kinds of things because I'm a forward thinker when it comes to spirituality and religion and all the things. And, you know, the audacity. So don't worry about people. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning here for you. This is something that you want, something you desire. It could be love. Love's here. If you're looking for it, right, this is either the ending of a relationship with this world card because something else is here or what you have becomes like brand new all over again, right? You rediscover your partner. You rediscover the passion that you two have. There is that because I've got the king of cups in the central position and this is wanting more out of a situation. So let's see what we can clarify for Capricorn this week. Holy shit. So the, <laughs> look. Four of Wands clarifies the world card. Guys, you know, it, this goes either way. You're either getting married or getting out of a marriage. Either way, it's happening for you. And, you know, this is a commitment. This is community. Something's changing within that community. Potentially because you're going to your nine and ten of cups, the people around you are changing. It's like you're headed for greatness and not everybody can hang anymore. Too bad. Say la vie to everybody else. Truly. <clears throat> And it might feel, you know, a little bit uncomfortable to do that. But you, everybody knows if you want to be rich, who do you go with? A Capricorn. Because you have to, you guys get what you want. Justice card showing up with a Hierophant. Guys, this is either a divorce or a marriage, right? Comment below and let me know. If neither of these things are true, then this is a Libra that you're dealing with and potentially, um, nope. I mean, I still, I got to tell you, I, it's still coming through. It's still coming through divorce or marriage. Because, I mean, you've got so many cards that signify a relationship. And again, these are general readings, guys. You're not going to resonate with everybody. You've got a lot of stuff coming through for your public image, your career. That's where this lunation is. So this, this eclipse is. But there's travel here. There's this need to go forward. It could be, I'm picking this up too, that maybe you you get this career situation going, this lifestyle going where you are mobile, you know, like maybe you are a creator and you just can travel, whatever skill you have goes with you. And that page of wands, that adventure, perhaps it is that you and your person are going to do this together. That's the other thing I see, like um, working with your person or your person being mobile with you. I see like traveling, lots of travel coming your way. So I've got the seven of swords, the knight of wands, and the ten of cups. The moon card clarifying the nine of pentacles. That's what's being kept from you. Page of wands comes out again. And I've got the four of cups. Let me pull. I got the tower card. Okay, the reason I pulled the tower card is because... I saw that the page of wands up here didn't have a clarifier and you had the page of wands come up a second time. So I'm asking why the page of wands tower card at the end of the week. So 
let's look at it. In the beginning of the week, you have this energy of like either moving towards a more committed relationship. Could be, you know, your workplace. Could be that you are committing further into an idea, but it's coming through like relationship. You're either getting out of one or further committing into the one that you have. I see this adventurous energy about you where with the seven of wands fighting for what you want like you're going after it this eight of cups with the seven of wands this this person is putting up boundaries and they're saying look i'm done with being held back so i'm gonna go and get my thing you can come with me or not and that's the attitude capricorn has come with me or don't come with me i don't care i'm going why are you going because you don't have time to always be in this emotional mindset right like you've done that for a long time you've compromised your desires capricorn for love you've compromised your desires for family that's what i'm hearing you've compromised you've compromised and things have changed now right family situations have changed either people have moved on moved away gotten married you know there's been ch status changes around you and so now you know, you're going to go after what you want and you're going to do it. You're going to do it quickly. So this is all systems go. The other way this is coming through, remember I said it, it could be a divorce, could be a divorce situation. You may have had where somebody was just wasn't committed enough, right? This, these are two different energies. This is somebody who's very committed and stable and emotional. And this is somebody who's like in and out energy. They won't commit. So, you know, this might be what you want. And this might be what you have or vice versa. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. This could be two different people. But it's fascinating because it's definitely coming through. I've got the Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Some of you might, in an effort to save a relationship or a dynamic, because here we've got the brawler. Remember I said there's this energy here of like a lack of empathy. Okay. Take, take this how it resonates. Some of you had a situation with your partner or a friend or someone doing you wrong, right? And now it's this potential of like couples counseling or getting someone else's opinion because I've got the eight of cups, or I'm sorry, the eight of pentacles with the 10 of cups. And this is wish fulfillment and this is like working on something. So maybe you're working on relationship, you're working on your communication style. Um, you and your partner are working on re-enlivening the relationship, because I said that earlier. Um, and like, because this is with your um, your public image, you know, it, it, it could be, some of you might be, have like that Instagram relationship, and I don't know how else to word that, but like it's picture, per it's picture perfect is what I'm hearing, picture perfect. And so now it's like, look, that's not who we are. We've really got to lean into what we are. Let's work on our relationship. There's a lot of that energy. The nine of pentacles is being clarified by the moon card. And what that tells me is that the way to your independence and freedom and stuff, you know, we, we don't quite see it yet. Like, is it the original business that you had planned on? Is it that original thing or does it, does it um, evolve, right? Does the relationship you're working with on does it evolve into something else we don't know so i would say that you have to pay attention to the clues along the way but again nothing's going to be crystal clear until after the eighth so the idea here is that yes you do get independence it might be because a relationship ends or it could be that when you get into a relationship the the ability to be um I don't know, in partnership with somebody else and it being balanced allows you that feeling of like, oh, I'm not doing everything on my own. Um, and so I have also the four of cups, the ace of cups, and that's being clarified by the tower card, all of that. And that tells me that like something sudden happens and there's a new beginning in love. And then there's, you know, this energy that you had been thinking about the past. Because look, this person is, is looking at this situation going, yeah, you know, I wish I would have done it this way. I wish I would have said this. You know, what do they think of me? And, and you know, the universe is saying, look, this is, you know, hope. This is a new beginning. It shows up again and it, you didn't expect it. The towers are just sudden events. Sudden, unexpected, you couldn't have envisioned it this way, events. It does not mean it's bad. It just means it rocks your world and takes you down a different path. 
And the moon is suggesting that, no, they're not going to tell you what this event is. But yeah, is it going to put you in a trajectory that's going to be better for you? Yep, because you're going away from, it's like you're going to, it's, hmm, I get excited. It's this energy of that game show, if you've ever seen it, let's make a deal, right? Let's make a deal. You want what's behind door number two, door number three, because you've already been living in door number one and you're over it. That's what I'm feeling. Your all systems go moving forward. The sun card continues to show its face and eclipse energy, right? The sun and the moon. So let's look at your shadow work this week, Capricorn, as you step into the best version of yourself. I feel lots of independence coming through. And that's true even if you stay in relationship or not. There's just this feeling of being independent and having a clear vision, knowing your next steps. You know, it, it, it is. There's a lot of um, stop and go traffic between now and the 8th. But this week, it's like everything starts to happen. Unexpected things. Like uh, you might really get a call from somebody who's been watching you or looking at your work, your art, whatever the case is, with an opportunity that causes you to be in this position like, hey, babe, I've got to move. You coming with me? Like what's going on? So it, it's just sudden. You might be on the receiving end of um, just some opportunity that changes your life. And, and that's the thing, Capricorn. This is life-changing energy. Nothing is the same after this eclipse ends. And that's for the collective. So this, the one that popped up is the one I'm going to take. I have obsessions, number three. Three is a number of creativity, but <clears throat> I'm also getting this idea of the, the shadow work is going to be to find the balance. I'm really picking up that you become obsessed with getting your creation done. That's how it's coming through because the number three is the card of creation. And with it saying obsession or reading obsession, it's almost like the minute you get that download, like, oh my gosh, I could do this. I hadn't considered this. I can't believe I finally got the call. I didn't even think about this, right? The minute it hits you and you get that lightning bolt of like the download, you become obsessed. You're like looking into it. That eight of pentacles came out again, right? Let's look at it. It's like you're looking at it, you're studying it, you're divining on it, you see it, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I just see you Capricorn making plans and making changes and revisions. So I, there's a lot of hustle bustle coming for you this 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 week. Um, yeah, a lot of hustle bustle. I also want to go back to the Six of Cups energy that I saw earlier. I'm picking up that some of you might be in a an energy of like a reunion of some sort, whether that be with old friends or family, but there is an energy of reunion here coming through. And you have two empath cards that came up. So I'm going to take that because this just showed its face again because it was flipped the other way and I looked at it and this is reminding me of family and I heard the word reunion so you might be having a family reunion and there might be something there where people are very proud of you and the work that you've done maybe you haven't seen someone in a while and that's part of the public image it's like wow so and so you know I'm so glad to see you finally after all these years I've been watching you on YouTube or whatever and from there it's like a reconnection Number 27, manifesting the future. So you bring about what you think about and I feel like you're very much in tune with that, right? Like you're a good manifester, you're excellent at it and you understand the way this works. So again, we go back to the Eight of Pentacles. You've got your, you've got a new money mindset that came through for, who was that? I think Sagittarius. So you might have Sagittarius in your chart. So look at that. Welcoming the help of others, number eight, right? Putting aces in their places. You might find that someone you know has skills that you could benefit from with your vision. Um, yeah, and this is about putting aces in their places. So if you find yourself in this energy of like, how am I going to do this? This seems like a lot. This opportunity is great. Who's going to take care of my animals? You know, wh whatever thoughts you have as you are faced with this crossroad of do I or don't I take this leap and take this huge risk. 
starting my own business, moving, marrying someone, divorcing someone. Those are all huge faded connections or disentanglements that are life changing, but it's for you. It's perfect, right? It's the perfect storm of change. No matter what happens, you have to trust that this is for you because otherwise, you know, you'd be stuck in a loop and this is loop breaking energy. All right, Capricorn. Don't forget to ask for help. Get your creations out there. More things to come as we head towards mid-month April. So remember that we're all stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. And until next time, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Thank you, Capricorn, for stopping by. And until next week, shine brightly.